So I wanted to show you this new stain thing that I did. This right here was just an experiment and I really like the way it turned out. So I thought I'd show you how I did it. It's really simple. So let's go in here and I'll set this down. This, this bow is bamboo back, but the bow I'm going to do this on is hickory back. So I don't know if it'll turn out the same or not. But basically what I did is I take all my dyes, I got yellow, green, red, blue, brown, mahogany, and black. And I put them in order from lightest all the way to darkest. And I start with the lightest color and just pick a brush. I don't know which one I should get. I think I'm going to get this one. You can get these at, uh, I got these at Tandy Leather Store. Because you can probably also get them at Walmart or whatever. They're, maybe even the dollar store. They're really cheap brushes. This is denatured alcohol that I'm going to use to clean the brush between um, doohickeys. So let's start with the yellow. So I'm just going to dip it in there and just kind of randomly, you know, just go across there like that. It's supposed to be good and random. I kind of do them at an angle too. In the beginning, when I first did this, I thought, "Man, this is gonna, this is gonna look terrible." <clears throat> but by the time I got to the darker colors, it looked pretty good. My mom used to use turpentine to clean her brushes. So, just so as you know. Okay, let's try green. I don't know whether the green or red is is lighter, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably red is going to be lighter than green. My cat wanted to get out here. And don't worry, yes it does look terrible at this point, but it gets better. At least I hope it does. See, the last time I did this, like you just never know. The only problem with this method is it really gets a lot of dye on the side of the bow, so you got to do quite a bit of scraping to get it off. I mentioned in the previous um, video that I used to dye the bows like before I did all the tiltering and shaping and everything so that I could easily scrape off the sides but I've gotten to where I do it closer to the end now because a few times I've accidentally scratched the back or something while I was working on it and that messed up the dye job so now I do it closer to the end this bow is actually done I mean it's ready for a finish of sanded and everything but I'm gonna do a little bit more scraping on it just to clean it up on the sides after this I'm going to put some red. And don't freak out. It doesn't look good. You keep saying that, Sam. Don't know why you keep repeating that same thing. That's just the way... That's just the way God made me. Giving you some background music to listen to while you watch me do this. And that's the red. My denatured alcohol gets pretty dark. Do this. I don't really know what the best way is to dispose of this stuff. I was reading about it on the internet a while ago. Some people say it's okay to pour it down the sink. and But there are supposedly laws against it usually. Some people say just uh, burn it. Some people say you can soak it up with sand and burn it. Or just let it evaporate. So I don't really know. I guess I'll have to do a little bit more reading. Some people say bottle it up and take it to some 
somewhere to have it disposed of. I don't know where. So far we're putting all these bright colors on there and it looks pretty cartoonish. But once we start putting the browns and the blacks on there, that's when it really starts looking good. Unless you just really like festive colors, I guess it's all a matter of perspective, personal preference. It's all subjective. That's right. There are subjective things. Even though I'm an epistemological objectivist, I do believe in the subjective truths. Okay, now we're going to start going to brown and making it look good. I'm almost out of medium brown. It's not lasting very long. I'm going to have a devil of a time cleaning this up on the edges. Think about this uh, alcohol based dyes that it soaks into the wood a little bit and so. Sometimes you can't always just sand it off because it penetrates. <clears throat> Don't freak out if it still doesn't look exactly like you want it. We're not done yet. And I suppose you probably don't have to do all these colors. I mean, if you do fewer colors, then um, you'll just have to use more brush strokes to fill in all the spaces. And now we're going to mahogany. Or as I like to say, mahogany. <laughs> oh, it's a good idea to wear an apron too because this stuff will splash around on your clothes if you don't. That's starting to kind of look coolish. But I was a little bit nervous that maybe the dye wouldn't do as well on the hickory as it does on the bamboo, but I think this is turning out all right. Got a few little white spots in there. Gonna fill those in later. Okay. Finally, we're gonna do black. I got myself some, on my previous videos, I always complained about uh, not being able to see what I was doing because my camera glasses that I have were sunglasses, but I replaced the lenses with some clear lenses, so now it's a lot easier. Black. You see there are some little, still some white areas in there. They're not covered. I'm going to go back over. Once I'm done all the way to the end here, I'm going to go back over and just do some little brush strokes right over the white areas. I think the secret to this whole thing is just to be random. 
Okay, now I'm going to try to cover up some of these little white spots, like that right there. And that right there, and that. That. Maybe not all, it's like okay if a little bit of white goes through, I guess. That's it. There we have it. Okay. Let's go uh, look at it in the sunlight. <clears throat> you can see how it's all kind of messy on the edges here. That will look better once I scrape it all off. So there it is in the sunlight. I think it looks all right. A little bit darker than the last time I did it. I think that looks pretty freaking cool actually. I don't know if everybody will like it. So there you have it. Here's a sunburst stain I did on a bow uh, a year or two ago. And um, this is the first one I ever did and it worked out so I thought I'd do a a tutorial on that so that's what you're gonna see next all right so now I'm gonna do a sunburst stain on this bow I've only done one before and it worked really well so I'm gonna see if I can recreate it I only use three dyes I use the yellow the red and the black that's it so I'm gonna start with the yellow We'll put a little yellow on there. And I'm just gonna dye the whole bow yellow. They call me mellow yellow. We all live in a yellow submarine. Those are only two songs I know with the word yellow in there. Mellow yellow and yellow submarine. Little yellow Corvette. Oh, no, it was red. Oh, look, the yellow blends with the Osage. What do you know? Not that that's going to do us any good. You can just, and if you, the darker you want this to be, just uh, just keep adding dye to it. Oh, did I tell y'all I finally got some clear lenses for my for my glasses camera, so I can see what I'm doing now. That comes in handy. All right, that's yellow enough for me. Now sunburst stain will have uh, will have like. Um, like a bright in the middle and like dark on the edges. So I want to put the darks on the tips and in the middle of the handle and like have them fade into the yellow. Okay, so let's, let's do the red one now. Okay, I'm starting in the middle. Now the way I want to do this is I don't want to blend all the way into the middle. I want to kind of go like this until it starts until it starts getting kind of dry like that I want it to get dry and then just keep rubbing like that a little bit more in the middle here and that way as it dries it kind of creates that fade oops that's too wet I just keep rubbing it up here until I know it's dry. And then do that number. Ideally that red will turn some of that yellow kind of orangish. Ideally, in an ideal world. So you'll have like yellow, orange, red, and then black. Just kind of rub that in. Rub it into the yellow. Now 
like so. I think this gonna work out just fine. Okay. <clears throat> All right, now I'm gonna do the black. Black, we don't wanna go in quite as far. Do it really well, like right in the middle there. Just dry, then I start rubbing it in, drawing it into the light. Draw, take the darker colors and pull them into the lighter colors. That's, that's how it's done. Pretty cool, huh? Turning out all right. It may just be my selective memory, but it seems like it looked better the first time I did it. don't know. Maybe I should have brought that red in a little bit more. I just need a little bit more black. I'm just going to get just a little bit more black. Remember the idea is to is to get it to where rub it in until the until the pad starts drying a little bit. And once it starts drying, then you can start pulling it into the other colors, and that's what creates the fade. And there we have it. I think that's it. Let's go look at it in the sunlight. sunburst stain in the sunlight. Ooh, I think that turned out pretty nice. What do you think? Yeah, let's stand it up next to the car here so we can see the whole thing. The whole sexy thing. Yeah. Alright, thanks for joining me.